Hello everyone. Today I'm gonna give a short introduction about our work learning an overlap-based observation model for 3D LiDAR localization. Localizing in a pre-built map is very important for mobile robots and autonomous driving cars. In this work, we use Monte Carlo localization to estimate the pose with particle filters. The challenge of Monte Carlo localization is that the observation model is very important but can be hard to design by hand. The contribution of this work is that we proposed a learned observation model for Monte Carlo localization using OverlapNet. And in the end, our method can achieve good global localization results in changing outdoor environments. Monte Carlo localization basically has two steps. It first uses a motion model with particles to represent hypothesis of the robot position. The second step is to use an observation model to update the weights of particles. In this work, we mainly focus on the observation model part, and we use the estimates of OverlapNet to build a nerd observation model. The OverlapNet is a modified Siemens network. It can estimate the overlap and yaw angle offsets between two 3D LiDAR scans without knowing the relative transformation. For more information about OverlapNet, I would like to refer you to our RSS paper. In this work, we built a new observation model for Monte Carlo localization based on the overlap and relative yaw angle estimates between the query scan and the map scan. Here, I show an example of generating the map frames. We zoom in on a small area of our map. And you see that we first put grids on it. And for each grid, we will generate a virtual scan and store it in the map. For each particle, we use the nearest virtual scan to generate a map frame. And then we will compare the query scan to all those map scans assigned to the particles using OverlapNet and update the weights of particles using the proposed observation model. Here we show a demo of using our methods to localize a vehicle in an urban environment. The particles were first generated uniformly around the whole map. After several iterations, you can see that the particles converged successfully to the correct location in a very short time. In the lower part, we show the current query scan and the map scan of the estimated location. The red line represents the reference trajectory, and the blue line represents the estimated trajectory. The blue dots represent the particles, and the darker the blue, the higher the weight of that particle. Note that our method only uses the 3D LiDAR information as the input, and without taking any other information like GPS and images into account. And as can be seen, it can achieve global localization successfully. Thanks for your attention, and the source code of this work has been released on our GitHub. Please feel free to give a try.